Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. Today I want to give you guys some of the craziest examples I've ever had of the games that really go the distance. And I feel that, you know, outside of just, uh, just the wildest moments that happen usually on the back of a wild RNG, outside of that shenanigans, this is, you know, the coolest way to experience Hearthstone. It, it, it's those games where um, you play through almost every single card in your deck, your opponent plays through almost every single single card of the deck and you go you know punch for punch it's really going the distance you get to evaluate after the fact you know how your decisions played through because usually in these type of games when you're nearing the last like you know five to ten cards both players come to realize this aspect it's like oh yeah this is the type of game that's going to go into fatigue so how do i suddenly play how do i get the absolute most value imaginable out of what i have left and the odds are very important because you know when you have only like three or four cards in your deck, the odds to get like the perfect answer out of what you have left is significant. So you have the option to play considering and weighing in the risk of potentially, you know, drawing the one card that you need because the pool is so low. There's all these amazing aspects of the game that are introduced when this occurs. But you know, because you know, Hearthstone has become a much faster game, uh, you know, in the last couple of years, I suppose. These moments are a bit of a rarity. So today, I want to show you guys a collection of just the most amazing games that really go the distance so you can see um, what a cool experience you can have when it goes to this. And this is this is largely why I play a lot of what I do when I play Constructed. You know, in Arena, um, this is much rarer, but it does happen, as you will see shortly enough. Uh, but in Constructed, you know, there's so much aggression, so much this and that. I try to counter that. I try to force people to play the game that I want, which is this game. It is the going the distance game by playing fatigue decks and all that. And I, I really love that. I really love this aspect of play because win or lose, it's the most satisfying way to experience a game. So, I want to show you guys some of these. I hope you guys enjoy them, and I'll see you guys. Next. Yeah, this mage deck is fucking abysmal, I know that. Let's keep the Acolyte for, like, uh, the late game action. We got an abusive. Well, go first, one drop. It's not what I expect at uh, one and two. Well, he's got a lot of cards, but I have board control right now. I am freed from the curse. Get in there and fight! Sneak it! It's a pretty good card, actually, here. Now you typically don't have flame strike if you're one and two, especially not in hand. You want it? I got it. Oh yeah, I don't have any of those either. Well now you might have a flame strike. So I'm gonna play just the one minion. This guy has a pretty good deck for one and two. He hasn't really played too badly either. I mean, I don't know why he's at one and two. 
my shield for Argus. play was really bad, he could have pinged. Yeah. No, okay, he's made a few kind of bad plays. Ah, got a sheep. Nice. I am the blade of the gods. Okay, this is turning into a control game. Wow. Never ever fucking lucky, dude. Seriously? This card's a shit. Draw the whole deck, I guess. Oh my god. Ready for action. Next left, we have Jeeves. Okay. Is that like the third one? Is that the second one? I think it's the second one. Oh, sweet. Well met. Oh, sweet. This place sucked. Oh, that place sucked too. Yeah. I think we're gonna go to zero in this game. Yeah, I'll just play it on fatigue. I mean, I have I have Cult Master and Jeeves left, so we're gonna go to zero cards this game, I believe. You don't think I will? Well, I mean, we, we could go the distance here. We did accelerate the card draw a lot. Interesting. I mean, I have a dragon. I don't think it's the worst card. A 3-5 represents a real threat on the board. Ready, sir. The main problem I have is with Jeeves. No way! He has a flame strike? What? Okay, that's two flame strikes and a blizzard at one and two. All right, that's good. Oh. Oh. Ok, 
Okay. Pretty bad. It's also pretty bad. He doesn't want me to draw. Okay. It's fine. I don't think I can play Jeeves. I think if he has a good last card, I just lose. Just drew. I think I lose. Oh no, he has to kill me. He can't kill me! I won! Play Jeeves or don't play Jeeves? Okay! Fucking circus, dude. What was that? I kept the Doomsayer because uh, usually doesn't do anything later in the game against the warrior. What is that? Oh, this is Reno Warrior, huh? Okay, I don't know what it is. He's gonna need a weapon, though. It probably is Reno Warrior. Reno Warrior would probably run something like that. Another rain run might be like two hours. Mm. We have to wait till tomorrow, buddy. My eyes are open. Wow. Did that really just happen? What the fuck? I still have no idea what he's playing. If he had a whirlwind, he would have used it first. I can take the hit. He's got two armor. No reason. Shield slam. It's fine. I can't really expect any of my minions to stay alive. So, anything I can do to just keep them busy is okay. That kind of sucks. I really do want to add two cards to my deck with Elise, but I, I feel like I should probably play Elise just to have something on the board. I don't really want a cold light without Bran or without fatigue. So many do you have the artifact? It's just that one card can make a pretty big difference, that's why. But yeah, alright, let's see. It's not a good idea to use the cold lights here, we're both playing passive decks. The cold lights are very what powerful when conditioned. Get back. Pretty weak again. I should try to save the cruel task for turn of beach each. If I can. <laughs> yeah. I think this is just straight up Reno Warrior. He probably has quite a few threats. I 
thought about playing the sheep, it would trade with a 1 2. I don't really like that too much. I think I can do better. Oh, it's just as bad of a Geddon as he would get. It's quite bad though. It's not a horrible spot for a cold light. I mean, I'll just do that. Wow, those draws. I'll just have to save the other cold light for a turn. I can play it with um, Bran as well. Yeah, I give him pretty good value with the weapon, but... Hmm. What's the now? I gotta tank up, boys. I can take the hit. Just no. Okay. Pretty weak. I don't have that much removal left. I guess I have the BGHs. Siphon from his deck. Replacing shield block with bash. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Rip in peace monkey business. Yeah, I kinda want to get in, but again, it's not a good get in. Maybe. Three card differential. That's pretty high. It's never a good getting in this one. Damn, Gorhal. Haven't been as fortunate to draw on the weapons as he has. And basically, we have to keep passing here. I can't really afford to play cards and waste them in this matchup. I basically need my own Gorhal or Death's Bite. Oh, the healbot just dies to the weapon, so it's not really worth playing. I might play it if I'm on 10 cards, but that's basically the only time. There it is. I think he's just playing standard Reno Warrior with threats, so... Oh my god, really? Oh, that is not worth the card draw. I'd much rather just that just not happen. I could mill two. I'd lose my burst though, which is pretty bad. I think I'd just rather do this. I think I need my burst to win, because the card differentials, the main thing that I do have. Plus, if I pick up a brand next turn, it should be totally crazy. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, champion. Just misplay or what? Alright, give me a brain and we're golden. Damn it. I think I have to do it. I have to try to get like a death spite or something. Next card. Where did I drop a slam? That's bullshit. Lost the BGH, that's pretty useless though. Alright. Well, it might not be useless, because uh, I might do the gold monkey thing. Four cards ahead is a pretty big deal. Why not shield block? Well, if I knew it was the next card, I would have shield block. I didn't know that. Do it. It's not a horrible idea, honestly. I think 
think I'd rather just play one at a time. I just have so many threats that I think it's fine. I think if I play one minion at a time, he just doesn't have any way of dealing with it all. Yeah, Varian is useless. What now? Well, maybe not. Could play him. He has a brawl, so it's just one minion at a time. Can't really do much. Alex is useless now versus Reno. Well, it might help me push for lethal, so I wouldn't call it useless, no. What's the six drop? I dream the world Let's trade friends. Prince Galavix, man. Out of cards. Holy fuck. Who beat our war chief now? Dream isn't bad, it does remove a card. Oh, damn. We need to do this to play around Brawl a little bit better. I have no time for games. How much damage is he taking? Five. So he's gonna take six. He is at 19. Fight Alistraza. I don't have it yet. Deathwing, pretty funny. I don't know how to deal with that though. It is a tricky one. I will not look back. If I do Alex face, he's just gonna Reno. It doesn't do anything. You can only Alex face when it comes to killing him. Taken seven. And plus there's quite a lot. I'm gonna downsize. I will not pull back. No, it wasn't lethal. Well, he has to do something. How much damage is he taking? Seven. Oh, my cat? oh I get a brawl. Thanks. That's good. It's the shittiest one. Deathwing idea, dude. Okay, that was a big 50 50. I think he has uh, like an execute left, so Deathwing doesn't really work. There's the Reno. That's a misplay. Should have attacked my minion first. Oh, he's probably just giving up. How much damage is at eight? So we're gonna take nine. So if I do ten damage, he's dead. Okay, he's dead. I bring life. Well, that was the first time it was actually lethal. The abuse of Sergeant has been reasonably good lately. You just beat a mage. 
at nine and two that had three blizzards. Wow. How does a 12 win mage look like? Well, if you take out some of the bad cards in my deck and instead fill it with like Flame Strike, Fireball, Polymorph, and maybe throw in a Legendary, then we're talking. We have some decent quality cards, but we're kind of lacking in some departments with this what one. To do. What to do? Check it, check it, check it, check it. Get in there and fight, maggot! Pretty bad. Yeah, if he has an, a an answer here, we're in really bad shape. Wow, more mechs. Okay. Should I Death Lord? I think I'll get a Death Lord, but I don't think I'm gonna play it yet. We don't have many taunts in this deck, so the Death Lord will help us survive. But to play a Death Lord this early, especially into a potential uh, Lame Lance, can be really bad. Wanted, dead or alive. Inner Rage. Huh. Death does not scare me. All right, we'll get to see if Death Lord makes it or doesn't. His card quality has so far been a lot higher than mine. So, we still have a bit here. There's not many three drops that would bail him out here. Couldn't have really saved that guy. Crap. Oh, wow. Sure. Whoa. Whoa. Into a potential flame strike. Hmm. Interesting. I probably should have been stable. Yes, I should have. Alright, fine. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. That is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> what the hell would be worse than that? Like, Ragnaros, Ysera? Yeah, I mean, out of non-legendaries, that might be the very worst card you could possibly get in the entire game. <laughs> so, I mean, we, di we didn't get so lucky with the Death Lord. Let's, let's just get down to the bottom of it here. He's gonna waste his whole turn, is he? Okay. What if it was Effigy? I mean, if he has Pyroblast, it can't do anything, but in normal normal situations, I don't really mind that. Uh, it's kind of bad. You want it? I got it. Maybe I can heal out of range. I probably should try to heal out of range as much as I possibly can. Well, he used up all the spells that he generated, so he doesn't have Pyroblast. Okay, well, given that fact, how should we play this? 
probably double trade water elemental. What can I get that'll kill this frost bolt? I guess I'll try it. Oh, that's not bad. This guy's deck is so good. Let the pain speak to me. Okay. Where shall I strike? I guess we have to do this. We already tested for bear entity. I am undefeated. Okay, at least that didn't win. You're in trouble now. He's only got eight cards. I have I have no bad cards left in my entire deck. I've drawn every single bad and early game card, so. Third one? Come on! That's a really good one. Okay. Yeah, he only has four cards right now. That was the worst card in our deck, by the way. All we have to do is outlast. Kind of figured that. Engaging TC wow. Good thing we played around that the whole game. Okay. I believe. Wow. 